my school is at the museum. The children in an alternative learning environment are just brilliant. I'm just glad that we were prepared to take a risk and, and actually become involved in the project. Museums are under phenomenal threat, uh, closing all the time. Very often those museums are in beautiful fabric, they're in gorgeous places. And so the idea came to say, look, the museums are full of treasures that belong to us all anyway. Children are our treasure, so let's put the treasures together. If, if there could be such a thing as a museum school from which you could learn everything, maybe this could become an alternative model. I think this project is exciting because it actually offers a little bit more of a concrete example and that allows us to really unpack or tease out what are the opportunities, what are the constraints, what are the problems. We've ended up with three museums. Arbea, Roman Fort Museum in Tyne and Weir, the National Waterfront Museum in Swansea and Tate Liverpool. Our vision is really about co-design, co-creation um, and co-production. So my primary school at the museum is, is just a fantastic way of testing that out over a longer period of time than we would normally test it out. So far we saw big changes in the children. Some of them are actually making new friendships with children that they'd never bothered with before in the nursery, which is quite amazing. It could have a wider impact across the whole of Tate and also maybe other museums and galleries in the country. It's been excellent to work with Laura, the teacher of the first group here from St Thomas. I think we've both learned a lot from one another and it's been excellent to share that learning experience. What we've realised is we tend to rule out younger children and we tend to aim educational visits at museums in particular for our older children, whereas we've seen now, no, we need to get them in while they're young because they enjoy it just as much, if not more. I think there were challenges that we had that we faced before the actual project started. There were things that we had to think about, uh, lunch times being one of them and, and dinners and how that would work, particularly with children accessing free school meals and how all that would be funded. But once all those things were sorted out before the actual project started, once the project has started, they, they, they run incredibly smoothly. I've been able to incorporate the site a lot into um, teaching, not just when we've been here but when we're back over in Hadrian as well. Using it as a basis for the planning, so we've been able to incorporate a lot more than I originally expected in the project over here with the teaching. It's not just somebody else's heritage, it's, it's our heritage because it's right here and it's part of their own local history. So even though it's of world heritage status, it is South Shields history and it's, and it's right here and it's theirs. At the beginning I felt, what are we going to do? I don't actually like museums but this one has been different. I think that I'm going to remember this forever. I think until you live the project you won't fully understand the project. Children have adapted incredibly, the staff have adapted incredibly well. The project has demonstrated that it is possible to cover many aspects of a curriculum outside of the classroom. I wouldn't necessarily be getting rid of all schools and citing them all in museums, but it's about using museums more cleverly, more, more thoughtfully.